to help, the ladies decide that he needs help tracking down a ruthless bandit for half the bounty money. One of the stars of Two Sinners and a Mule is Chantelle Albers, and she is with me today. Good morning to you, and thank you so much for being Good here. Good morning. Thanks for having me. You know, this is a movie, so you think Hollywood, but you are a North Dakota girl. You yes. come from San. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your background and where you grew up on a ranch. Yeah, well, um, I grew up out near Center mm -hmm. um, on a ranch. I've been riding horse since I was like, I don't know, I think about four years old. My dad bought me a pony named Ryder. <laughs> Makes sense. It's a perfect name for that. So okay, so this is a western, and mm -hmm. that's why I bring up the ranch. How much of, of the of the western were you able to tie to your upbringing and say, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the way it was. You know, I've always been able to get cattle in with my dad. Sure. I, I mean, I remember coming home from college on Thanksgiving, and we'd mm -hmm. be moving cattle from one pasture to the other. So. Doing some of those riding scenes was kind of <laughs> reminiscent of my childhood on the farm doing that. So, You know, I looked at the trailer. It looks, it looks like a great show, and we want to let people know that it is playing right now in Bismarck. It's playing yeah. in New York, L.A. It's playing in some major, major markets, but we're mm -hmm. fortunate to have it here in town right now. One of the things that caught my eye in the description online, adventure, gunfights, heartache, comedy, tragedy. This one covers all genres, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, it kind of does. <laughs> Tell me about your role. So, well, I play Alice. Mm -hmm. um, she's one of the two sinners that gets kicked out of town, and she actually wants to change her ways and change her life and start anew. Um, she's got this idea to open up a new restaurant where there's um, a bunch of miners going on, and she's like, they're going to need a restaurant to eat at. And so that's kind of one thing that she wanted to start off and start her new life doing something respectable. So we get kicked out of town, and I think Alice kind of sees it as a blessing. And then we come upon a bounty hunter and we're like, hey, you're not in any shape to take on anyone right now. So we nurse him back to health and we're like, we'll help you for half the bounty. And sure. we go on our adventure from there. So, You know, and, and we, we were discussing Chantel and I before we came on the air. I said, we were talking about Westerns in general and I brought up the fact that I'm a big Gunsmoke fan. Watch yeah. it almost every day. And you said, this movie has a direct tie to Gunsmoke. Oh yeah, Buck Taylor's in it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, newly, newly from Gunsmoke. <laughs> yeah, so, he plays the sheriff. Okay, and you know when you when you're in the throes of of a movie like this and you're putting it together, do you get caught up in meeting somebody like him, or is it just all business for you? Um, you know, we're on such a time crunch, sure. so I always feel like it's just kind of all business and. Um, you know, a lot of people have worked together before and stuff, mm -hmm. so I just feel like when you're on set, you kind of need to utilize your time as much as possible and focus on getting the right product out there, so, and finishing the scene correctly. Sure. This opened on April 25th, so it's been out for about a week. What, have you heard anything? What's the reception been of the movie? Well, um, I think it's been pretty good. It's mm -hmm. exciting that it's being held over in Bismarck, so it's going to be renewed um, in the theater there. So. I think the reception has been pretty good to it, and good. I hope that more people can go see it. You can also rent it on Amazon because it's streaming on Amazon, Roku, I think Vudu, all the all the streaming sites also. Well, so. that's great to know. This isn't your first go around. You also produced and starred in The Sixth Friend. Yeah. Acting is that something growing up that you were constantly in plays, whether that be at school or church or wherever? Has that always been in your blood? Yeah, it kind of has. I mm -hmm. mean, I did I did do Sleepy Hollow um, growing right. up in Bismarck here, and that was honestly one of my favorite experiences in my childhood. Was doing summer theater. It was just like, wow, this is what you really get to do full time. So um, I went to school for that, and then went out to LA and started pursuing film from there. But I did have a lot of theater roots in North Dakota here. So, you know, you hear so many stories about people going to L.A., especially from the Midwest or, mm -hmm. you know, from our part of the country with all these big dreams. How was it that, that you were able to find something and find an area that you were able to be in so that you could partake in a couple of movies and, and get yourself involved in it? Yeah, well, I think a lot of it is just um, meeting up with the right people yeah. and finding people that you can collaborate with. Um, with The Sixth Friend, me and my friend Jamie Bernadette, we, we met on another um, horror film shoot, actually. Right. We went on a, met on a movie um, named Axeman, and on our day off, we went for a walk, and she's like, I've got this script, and I was like, you know what, we could probably produce it, and that's how The Sixth Friend came, came into fruition, was on a walk on another film set. So We were talking, too, about all the things that go into making a movie, from the directors mm -hmm. to the producers to the director of photography and all these different things. Do you find that that you have an interest in all of those areas of the movie or would you rather produce and act and things like that? Um, I would definitely say acting is my forte, mm -hmm. but I 
as, a, as an actor, you're also a filmmaker too, so you kind of develop a certain eye for you know film and how it should be made and the technical aspect of it. So I do, I like to be involved, or not involved, but I, I am interested in every aspect of it, I guess, just with camera angles and lighting and sure. cutting everything together so that it looks um, professional. Looks good on, yeah. on screen. Well, and as an actress or as a producer, you're always involved in those things anyway, just by happenstance, mm -hmm. you notice what's going on. Okay, Two Sinners and a Mule, it's rated R, so this is this is uh, for mature audiences, older people, correct? Yeah. And, and uh, we're down to a minute. What would you want to leave the people with as far as those that want to go see it this weekend? Um, I think that you, I, I would love if you wanted to go see it. I think that it's um, a very heartfelt story. It's kind of a western. There's a love story entanglement element that happens in the film but if you like guns there's lots of gun fighting I think that's what gives it the rated R yep. <laughs> the, the R rating there's not a lot of swearing or sure. nudity or anything like that so all right once again adventure gunfights heartache comedy tragedy it's got it all where do we find <laughs> the movie it's at uh, the Grand Theaters in Bismarck but you said you can mm -hmm. also stream it in other areas yeah I'm sure you can google it but I know it's on Amazon and um, Roku I think it's on Vudu for okay. renting and then it'll be on Netflix eventually come so. back on Monday we'll have another discussion because I'm going right. to see the movie over the weekend <laughs> Chantel Sounds Ellis thank good. you so much appreciate it alright we're taking a break we'll be back we've got more coming up on North Dakota Today